Hello everyone! Today it's going to be another pregnancy vlog. Um, well, as you can see, I'm actually feeling okay today. That's why I have a I have done a tutorial. So I thought, you know, why not do another video vlog video? So I am in the week 33 right now. Uh, yesterday I had the midwife um, appointment. Now how it works here in Sweden is that every two weeks you meet the um, midwife there's this like center for pregnant women here so it's kind of very convenient and it's just a couple of blocks down so she will test you know the urine and she will also take blood samples to see if my iron levels are kind of okay so the yesterday she didn't do that test I think it was because we were talking a lot about other stuff so I she kind of forgot about it but um, the past two times when I took my um, blood test, you know, my homoglobin level, or I should say, my iron level was kind of on the low side. So um, probably that was the reason why I felt very tired and and also, you know, very lethargic. So I've been trying to take supplements, but um, it's not really helping in a way because um, you know how iron can like, constipate. So. So I was really going through that trouble. You know, when you have tummy problems, it's always never easy to um, handle. So, so to elevate that, I have been taking something else which is of um, which has high iron content. At the same time, it's in liquid form. So that has been really good. You know, um, I will probably talk about that in another video if any one of you is interested because I'm not sure it's really available in any other country because I got it here in Sweden. So everything is like in Swedish. So <laughs> yeah, my husband usually translates and tells me. So other than that, um, I still have like say one month and 21 days to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm due in April, third week of April, so so I'm pretty excited. It's just one and a half months or so to go. So yeah, getting a little anxious because I'm very afraid of childbirth actually for a very long time. It's just not something that it just developed now. Um, it's since I was a teenager or so. I've always I've always had the heart for pregnant women. And I've always admired how they could do it, you know, especially women who have had so many children. So, and, and all these TV shows that they show, you know, where a child, you know, when they do child delivery in the hospitals and all this, very sensationalized. So it's, it's kind of like also, how should I say, they pick those cases that's not normal. So it kind of freaks me out. So I'm going to stop watching <laughs> shows like that. So that I can calm my um, nerves a little. Other than that, really preparing and um, my mood is a lot better these days. But I think that's also because in Sweden here it's a bit sunnier and it's a bit more warm. You know, you can feel spring coming in. The problem with Sweden or I should say Scandinavia, this region is that when winter comes in, it's darkness. You see more darkness than light. And it's very gloomy and when it snows it really snows in so much so you it's like um, how should I say shorter days longer nights and then during summer spring summer time you know it's going to be more longer days and shorter nights so it's like yeah <laughs> it's a bit weird it does so much to your head you know uh, especially for someone who is uh, used to having 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of you know night time of darkness yeah so other than that stretch marks now I, I got questions about stretch stretch marks I've not really seen any stretch marks so far that's because once I knew I was pregnant I started using lots of lotions and the ones that I've been using are the um, ones from Palma um, fantastic uh, lotions really I mean the only problem I have is that in Sweden I can't get this um, brand. They don't carry this. And this has been the only lotion that has um, uh, left me with nice, not so dry skin during the winter. 
and um, it just feels so much nicer the skin is not so itchy because during winter especially and when you have a growing belly you know uh, I was really freaked out that I might get stretch marks because my skin was extremely dry and um, I was really searching for um, a good moisturizer you know good body lotion but since I'm here, since I've been living in Sweden for two years, so I've already experienced one winter in a way, a full winter. So none of the lotions I tried over here getting from the local um, stores worked. And uh, it's a bit sad because you would think that they would sell something that would work rich in moisture because the weather here is really crazy. It's really, really dry, but they didn't have it. So during one of my trips to London, I think, I believe it was last year, um, I bought the um, Palmer um, yeah, Cocoa Butter Formula, um, what do you call moisturizer or body lotion and uh, that's how I, 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 you know, I stocked up because I tried it there and I liked it and I stocked up. So when, during my last trip back to Singapore, I stocked up even more because they carry this brand. And I also bought this um, um, same Palmer brand, but this is made of um, olive, olives. So I've not really used this yet. It's still, ooh, it's still, you know, full. So I'm really trying to be very stingy so that uh, right after birth also I can, I, I still have enough lotions to kind of like, um, you know, get me through this uh, dry period. And also, I've uh, been start, starting to use, I, actually I started using this nipple cream. I think it's called, uh, also Palmer brand, Cocoa Butter Nursing, um, nursing Butter, made uh, with uh, pure cocoa butter, pro-vitamin B. It relieves um, um, breastfeeding mothers. And from what I understand, many women actually advised that, um, also a, a dear friend of ours also advised that, um, Prior to giving birth, you know, you have to prepare your, your body and also your nipples and your breasts if you want to do n nursing because what's going to happen is that your breast is kind of like getting big because it's, it's working, preparing f to, you know, produce milk and your nipples are going to, oh, you know, what, what do you call that, arola, arola, I believe, that's going to enlarge and, you know, skin stretches and it's going to be dry. And during winter, it's going to be even more dry. So uh, it's best to use nipple cream. So I got this and I've been using for the past two months. So I feel okay, you know, I'm preparing. So when the baby comes, at least I will not have sore, cracked nipples when I start nursing. So other than that, I've also been using on my tummy just to prevent uh, stretch marks. This bio oil because it says so that it's specialized it's especially skin care for scars stretch marks uneven skin tone aging skin dehydrated skin so i thought because i was using this on my face but then two weeks or so into using this i started to break out because it was just too greasy for me uh, so i started using um on my tummy and it works i mean it's it's fine it it i mean it has not done anything but it has added a little bit more moisture and, and some you know oiliness <laughs> so so that it can last me the whole day and uh, in terms of sleep I still don't get much sleep you know in a stretch because I still have to like get up so many times to use the bathroom and as the week goes it's it's getting a little bit more uh, frequent that I use the bathroom the tummy is getting bigger other than that yeah, I think I'm just waiting, waiting, it's a waiting game. Trying to get as much rest as I can, um, fueling in terms of food, uh, fruits, food, healthy food. Um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you liked this vlog and I'll probably get back to you um, again in maybe either a week or, or two or so because I, I really don't see the point in vlogging every week because I I don't see much of a difference other than uh, the fact that I'm still tired and sometimes I'm really not in the mood to vlog 
so yeah when i feel i will definitely get back to you but if you do have any questions you know pregnancy related questions or you know yeah anything to do with any of the products that i've shown you let me know and i will try to answer them in another video or do a blog post thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in my next video bye